on the ice, nearly everything seemed normal. Tuesday's game between Monroe and Woodbridge High Schools still had 12 men on the ice. It still had big goals and big hits. After all, this was still hockey. But everywhere you looked, you were reminded by the number 23. In the stands and behind the bench, on t-shirts and painted faces in the crowd. 23 from Mikey Nichols, Monroe's center and assistant captain, who still laid in a hospital bed just days after he broke his neck on the ice. This was the team's first game back. It was emotional and uh, we knew that coming into it. Uh, we knew from the stands, uh, the fans' perspective, our pers perspective, that it was going to be emotional uh, for everybody involved. Uh, but I thought overall, our players, uh, the fans, and everybody handled themselves exceptional, uh, providing support for Mike and his family. On Saturday, during a game against Vernon, Nichols was checked from behind while making a shot. It's a play that happens all the time. He went head first into the boards and hit at an awkward angle. It's crazy. You spend so many hours playing, you don't. You don't think this would happen to especially one of the kids you played with or on your team. And then when it does, you just see the whole community get together and try to make this kid's life a lot better. Chris and Mikey grew up together. They've known each other since the third grade. During Wednesday's game, he went around with a jar reading Nichols for Nichols. But the support from Monroe's community was far bigger than that. The day Nichols got hurt, they started a hashtag on Twitter. Pray for Mikey. They tweeted at celebrities. They made t-shirts. Wednesday's away game was standing room only, packed to the gills. And by Wednesday night, they had raised over $33,000. I think, I think he needs all the support he can get, and uh, I think this will make him feel really good about everything and have a positive attitude on what he's going to do next. In the third period, with the minutes winding down, a crowd that had already done so much for Mikey erupted in one more reminder of why we all were here. As for the game itself, the Falcons jumped out to an early lead, only to see it slip away in the final period. Maybe Woodbridge was the better team on Wednesday, or perhaps Monroe's teenagers finally began to fatigue with the weight of the world on their shoulders. Either way, they sure could have used number 23 out there. Uh, just there's no shame in the loss. I thought they came out, they wore their hearts on their sleeve, and they did a fantastic job in terms of doing what they wanted to accomplish tonight and uh, pay their respects to Mike and his family. They, they played well. You know, they gave it their all.